In the headlines, the threat of a railroad strike looming larger today. One of the biggest railroad unions in the U.S. now says that its members have voted down a proposed contract deal brokered by the White House. Yeah, so if there's no agreement, rail workers could strike the next month. ABC's Ike Jachi is in Washington now with how this can affect you. One of the nation's largest rail unions voting down a tentative contract brokered by the White House. Now, a looming nationwide strike on December 5th that could cripple the U.S. economy. As the president has said from the beginning, a shutdown is unacceptable uh, because of the, of the harm it would inflict on jobs, families, farms, uh, businesses. The White House now preparing for the possibility of picket lines. Rail is critical to multiple facets of the economy, agriculture, manufacturing, retail, and warehousing. Freight railroads are responsible for transporting 40% of the nation's long-haul cargo. Transportation would also be affected. Roughly half of all commuter rail systems rely at least in part on tracks owned by freight railroads, including nearly all of Amtrak's long-distance service. Altogether, a strike would cost the economy $2 billion a day in economic losses, according to the Association of American Railroads. The biggest issue uh, are the uh, quality of life issues. A lot of the cutbacks that have taken place over the last four to five years uh, by the railroads have cut us to the bone. Workers say they need better paid leave and attendance policies before they can reach an agreement. Although eight of the rail unions agreed to new contracts, if just one of those who didn't decides to strike, then they'll all join the picket line. I hope that uh, we can bring this to res resolution without any impact. But uh, like I said, this is uh, an option under the Railway Labor Act. A nationwide strike is expected next month unless a contract is ratified by each of the 11 rail unions. So far, four unions have ratified the agreement. Ike Jachi, ABC News, Washington.